Come on down to Carl's Crazy Clown College. It is time to imagine it where we are making balloon animals. No, we're not. No, making, we're, we're talking science. Oh, all right. Okay. So I have a regular latex balloon here. I'm going to give this to you. Okay. Gonna hold that for a second. Got a candle here. We'll do a simple little experiment. If I think I, 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 think I know how this may end. Oh, hey, you know, you should put your safety glasses on. We got a Probably balloon. A that, idea. Yeah, put that on. It's all fun and games until someone gets a balloon in the eye. Yep. So what I want you to do, I'm going to put mine on too. I want you to lower that onto the balloon, Just, onto, onto the flame. Okay. Just kind of carefully, 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 carefully. There's some wind currents in here. Get it to touch the flame. Lower. You're half an inch away. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So that's what happens to a balloon when you put it next to a flame. Good to know. Okay. So let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. Now, that, was our, that was our control. Okay, so now we're gonna do it with this balloon, which has water inside of it. Plain old water. Plain old water. So I want you to do the same thing. We're just gonna kind of lower it down there until it actually touches the flame a little bit more, half an inch. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. There we go. Flame is touching. Bring it, bring it, you're too cautious. There we go. Quite, quite. No, no, and it's not going to burst. I'll give that away. It's not gonna burst because the water inside has a tremendous ability to absorb heat. So it's actually pulling the heat away from but latex on the bottom of the balloon. Go ahead and show the bottom of the balloon. Okay. Got some soot on there from the wow. candle. It's not going to burst. Huh. However, just to show you that it's not a trick balloon, pop it on the beaker. Okay. Take the here. I'll take the candle. Oh. I know you don't like this part. No, I don't. I'm gonna stand back. Okay, we we'll just take the candle and <laughs> oh. it's going to burst. All right. Dunk so tank. It's all about the heat capacity. Now, balloons are kind of cool, but even better is if we were to take something like a paper cup. Mm -hmm. All right. So I. I picked this up this morning, and if we were to hit this with a flame, what's going to happen? Charred cup. It, it's going to catch on fire, right? And it actually it is. So, so <laughs> we're going to get rid of that. We're going to put sprinklers that, in here. No, 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 there's no sprinklers right here. Yeah. So we'll get rid of that. But we can do the same thing. Now, I'm going to take this cup, and we're going to overfill it. Grab your blowtorch there. We're going to do the same thing, but now with water inside the cup. And if our balloon is any predictor oh, of what whoa. it's overflowing, uh -huh. go ahead and light it up. Avoid the seam in the back. Okay. But just go ahead and hit the front so you can kind of see what's happening here. Okay. We're getting a little flame. A little bit of the outside of the cup is catching on fire. But, I mean, and you can really blast the heck out of this. In fact, oh, this is cool. Yeah? The cup has two layers. Oh. So there's an inner layer and an outer layer. Do I'll we blast have a the inner layer. Mop and bucket nearby? We don't. We just have the table. <laughs> oh, look okay. at that. So the outside burned away. We can still heat up. Oh, stop for a second. Out. Stick your finger in the water. Avoid the flame. Avoid the flame. <laughs> Avoid the flame. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very hot. warm. It's very hot. warm. Because that water is absorbing the heat energy <laughs> from the torch. And we could do this for a really, really long time until we finally fatigue the inner part of the cup. And it's you know, probably going to probably gonna burst. I'm, just, I'm excited about how excited you are. The coolest <laughs> dad ever. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> when you think about summertime, the summer solstice mm -hmm. in June, the uh, longest day of the year, you would think that should be the hottest day of the year. But actually, it takes a while for the planet to sort of catch up because we got the oceans, we got the land masses, they're all absorbing the heat energy. And it's about another couple months before we get the hottest days of summer. There you go. So keep that in mind, uh, June 21st, 22nd, yeah. solstice time. All I'm not a meteorologist. All because of the heat capacity. It's an amazing property of water. Excellent. Well, hey, we can, we can just I've learned a lot today. What do we need, what do we need to know? I, I, I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't know. But if you want to come on down to the Imagination Station today, you're having fun with robots and robotic experiments today and tomorrow. And since it is Saturday, if you have a kid who lives in Lucas County and an adult, a grown-up who lives in Lucas County, a kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. I'm just wondering, are we going to break through I, I the don't, barrier? I, I, don't think, I don't think we have time. But eventually, uh, uh, I think eventually we might we might fatigue the outside of the cup. But again, it all goes to that amazing heat capacity of water. It's just pulling the heat away. We might the water's boiling. It's bubbling inside. <laughs> We're boiling the water inside the cup. That is fascinating. Awesome. <laughs> all right, we'll be here for a while, and that's how you imagine it.